What's up everybody, Jason for Vasa Productions. And in this video, I wanna show you how to take social media icons and animate them in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Coming up. All we need to do to work on this is turn this into a fusion clip or lay a fusion composition over. So I could either select a fusion composition and lay it over the top and then click the fusion tab and go in and add a background and start working. Or I can delete that fusion comp and right click on this clip and left click on new fusion clip. And then when I click on the uh, fusion tab, I can see the video right there. So media out right here, we've got the media in, which is actually our video clip right here. Come up to fit and left click on 50%. Now what I wanna do is just come down here and start working on making this animation. Take a background node, drag that in, take its output and drag that into the output of the video clip right there, which is media one. Take this background now, we need to manipulate this a little bit and come up here to alpha and come down to zero. Take another background right here, take that and bring that into the output of that alpha background, which is at zero. We've got a merge there and a new background. Now with this background, what we're gonna do is select another rectangle mask right there. Take it though and bring it in a little bit. Round off the corner radius, just like this. And then we're gonna left click and drag over these two nodes, hit Command C or Control C on Windows and Command V to paste, take the background of this new one and bring it into this background until it turns green. And we've got a merge right here and we'll have a new rectangle and new shape right here. So what we wanna do with this rectangle is bring its edges in by dragging like this and dragging like this. Then we're gonna go back to our original rectangle right here and select its background and just change that background color over to white. And voila, we've got a really simple, easy border that we just created with two different shapes right there, okay? And if I wanna make that just a little bit, let's say the other rectangle just a little bit taller, I can do that to make the border width a little less, you know, apparent like that, and just nice and easy. So we've got that outline that we want. Now what we need to do is bring in some social media icon logos. So up to media pool here, under graphics, I've got my folders organized. I've got an Instagram logo right here. Just left click and drag the Instagram logo into the composition, take its output and drag it into the merge twos output. That creates a merge right there. Now to create some space here, things are getting a little clogged up at the top. Take these three nodes, highlight them and just drag them down. And then take these two new nodes and drag them down just a little bit. This is the Instagram logo right here. Right click on it, hit rename type in Instagram logo, okay? And then these backgrounds, let's name these backgrounds too. So we've got the first background right here, which is the black one. We're just gonna rename that one black. And then this one is gonna be the white outline. Right click on that one, white outline. And then we know what everything is. To move the Instagram logo around, what we need to do is come over here and just select a transform by left clicking on that quick. That gives me the ability to move this Instagram logo around the screen just like this. I'm gonna take it and resize it and make it a lot smaller. And I'm gonna bring it down here a little bit more. And again, bring that size down just a little bit more, make it nice and easy like this. Now to move this rectangle with the outline around together, we need to use a transform between those two sets of nodes. So left click and drag over these five nodes and bring them to the right just a little bit. Take a transform here, left click that, drag it over this line until it turns blue green. And then that gives you the ability to move this entire chunk here around just like this. And I think you can kind of see where we're going with this. I'm gonna now take the color, the black background that we've got labeled right here and just left click on it. And we'll come up to the eyedropper tool and left click this, left click and hold it down and drag it over the Instagram logo and look what happens, right? We get the ability to select any of the colors of the Instagram logo we want. For you know the female here, we're probably just gonna use a pink. I like that color a little bit, it matches really well. So just let go. And we've got that nice pink right there, right? Really simple, really, really easy. The next thing that we need to do is work on animation and also work on masking out this right here. So it's gonna be really simple to mask this out for us. All I have to do is come over here to the rectangle mask, left click on that, bring that to this side of the merge, take its output, drag it into the alpha of the merge, the blue part right there. 
and we can see our rectangle is gone. Just take it and bring it down over here, and now we can see that rectangle again, right? Drag its top down a little bit. Drag the edges in a little bit, and let's just go like this. Come up to the soft edge of the mask and drag it to the right just a little bit like this. And now if I take the transform on this rectangle, I can actually move it in and out of this mask just like this, right? Really simple, really easy. Let's just leave that right here for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually animate the Instagram logo first, then we're gonna animate this and we'll add some text real quick right here. So what we're gonna do before we do the animation is add some text into this, right? So come over here, select these five nodes, move them over to the right again, take a text node, bring that in, take the output of the text node right here, drag it into the merge three, that will create another merge over here, a little sloppy, but bring that merge just right here. Now everything's organized again, right? And then with this text, we're just gonna type Her Instagram handle, let's take the size of this, let's make it a little smaller, just like this right here. Bring it up, and we'll bring it to the right a little bit more and actually we'll increase that text size again a little bit right there. And now you're gonna see that the text, you know, and the colors and the rectangle all move together like this really quickly and really easily. So let's just bring that back here just like this. Now what I'm gonna do is actually animate the Instagram logo, come to the transform here. Let's come to, let's say frame zero, and let's take the size of the Instagram logo, and let's just bring that down to zero. Hit the keyframe. Let's go two keyframes forward. Let's bring that Instagram logo size up just a little bit, see it's starting to appear on the screen. Go two more keyframes forward right here. Bring it up even more two more keyframes forward, make it pop big time right here, two more keyframes, and we'll bring it back down to 0.44, which is where we had it originally. So now if I just play this real quick, you can see that Instagram logo pops up right on the screen. Now we just need to animate the Kayla Johnson part right here. So that's very easy to do. We take the transform right here that we have for all these items, and we're gonna animate this on within 24 frames. So let's go to frame 32 and come up here and just left click on that keyframe for position, come back to frame eight, left click the X position and drag this to the left, just like this. And then come to settings, hit motion blur, select spline, left click on transform, left click here, left click and drag over these two keyframes, S to smooth, Hold down Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and drag this handle by left clicking to your left, just like that. And we get something that looks just like that. Very simple, very easy. The next thing that we are gonna do is come back to the Instagram logo and select its transform, left click there, come back to its spline, left click here, and then left click over these and drag, and just hit F to flatten. And if you want to manipulate any of these handles, you could definitely do that by just holding Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows and bringing those in or manipulating those if you want. I'm just gonna leave them like this for now. I like the way that that looks. It pops and comes on really smooth. So now that we hit F to flatten those, we wanna come back up to settings for that, for transform and just hit motion blur. And then let's hit the space bar to play. And we have a really simple, really smooth animation. I'm just gonna right click here to turn off motion blur for high quality and motion blur, turn those off to get better playback on this M1 Mac mini. And there it is, okay? Very simple, very easy. Now, I wanna animate all of that off the screen. So I just come back here, come to transform, right? And let's just say that I want that to be on for about five seconds. So we're at 32 frames. You know, let's say four seconds from now, we'll do that. That's an extra 96 frames. So that would be frame 128, which would be right here. Come up to controls, left click on that keyframe. And we're gonna do 24 frames to animate off, which is gonna be 152. Left click, drag this right back into that Instagram logo. And come up to spline, left click on that, left click here. S to smooth, hit the magnifying glass, drag that over the two keyframes to see it easier. Hold down option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, drag that over to your left, left click on that, 
come back to the transform for the Instagram logo. And then we're gonna animate that off, right? So we've got the Instagram logo, come up to controls, left click on the size keyframe right here, go two keyframes forward, bring the size up, two more forward, bring it down, two more forward and bring it all the way down off the screen, come up to spline, and then you've got those keyframes there, just hit F to smooth, just like that, and then come back to the beginning, and let's hit spacebar to play. There's our animation. It'll play for about four seconds, right? That's what we cut off for keyframes, and it animates off the screen. To watch that play, let's just go back to the edit tab real quick. So we just hit spacebar to play quick, there's the Instagram logo popping up, her name coming out, right? We have that staying on for about four seconds and then animating off the screen really quickly and really easily. So there you have it, a very simple way, right, to create a social media icon animation inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. You can use that on your YouTube channels, use it on your socials, or use it for the purposes of creating content for businesses. All right, so that wraps it up for how to take your social media icons and animate them in interesting ways inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. We'll see you next time.